Hello guys, Northwest Trees here. Uh, today what I'm going to be uh, showing you is how to upgrade or downgrade uh, your um, your uh, mod workspace in Mcrater. So uh, it's pretty straightforward when it coming when it comes down to it. Uh, what you want to keep in mind though is when you're upgrading your um, workspace uh, any changes that you make in the updated version won't be able to be well it, it can be downgraded but fe some features may be broken in older versions due to older versions not having support for those features so uh, just keep that in mind if you're wanting to support older versions uh, always start development on a lower version and then work your way up um, and slowly upgrade your mod that way so um, new features can be added uh, on newer versions and stuff like that. Uh, it's a, just a good idea to do it that way and then you don't need to worry about um, if features won't be compatible with older versions and stuff like that. Um, all right, so there is some things that, <clears throat> sorry, um, that um, you should note uh, if you have any locked or unlocked, uh, pardon me, workspaces like this one here, I have this one unlocked. Um, if you're updating the workspace, it's going to give you an error, um, basically saying that it wasn't able to regenerate the code. So it's important to uh, probably write down in a document or something all the custom settings that you've basically changed when you're um, editing unlocked versions and uh, just take note of that and then when you're up uh, about to upgrade your workspace uh, just basically lock them so it can generate the code properly so um, to do that uh, what you want to do is just click on the uh, locked icon or unlocked icon uh, element and then you just click the um, little lock icon right here and just say lock and unlock element and then it will remove that little purple uh, tag there. So now it just has the uh, green tag for the um, saying that it's uh, rendered fine and everything like that. So if you go to your workspace and then go to workspace settings and uh, under the basics tab, the first tab that you're displayed with, uh, it also has all your properties for your mod. Um, there is one called Minecraft version generator um, and it says uh, target Minecraft version slash a mod type. So if we click on this little edit icon right here, um, as you can see here, there is uh, some basic uh, support, uh, long term support status and stuff like that. So it'll basically li list the long term support if it's going to be supported in future versions, stuff like that and uh, general uh, generator info. So there's a uh, feature, over, feature overview, so global uh, variables, stuff like that, uh, structures, all these things are compatible. I'm assuming that um, when the mod updates and stuff like that, when you're going to downgrade or something, it would indicate that it won't be compatible with older versions. So just keep in mind that any elements you make might not uh, be compatible with that. So down here it says uh, vanilla forge element uh, coverage. So as you can see, 1.12 actually doesn't have um, as much coverage as 1.14. So um, uh, we're going to upgrade that by going to select generator and then from the drop down list uh, what we can do is uh, select the forge version that we want. So uh, it also lists the actual for forge build right next to it. So this version for forge is 28.1.106 and uh, that's for